Okay, welcome back to another battle report from Crafty Terrain. And this is going to be Nick's rebel list for tonight, tasked with destroying the chemical weapons facility of the Empire. Nick, do you want to talk us through your list? Yeah, it's led for the rebel officer. Okay. He's got no upgrades. And then operative Luke with force push, force reflexes, situational awareness and Jedi mind trick. Then we've got the Pathfinders, led by Pal. They've got duck and cover and the short range config. Then we've got the two ATRTs. They've both got the laser cannon upgrade. And then I've got four units of rebel troopers, all naked, just one with the extra trooper. And then two strike teams, both with the snipers. That's 786 points and 11 activations. Okay, so that's a nice bid, uh, bid from Nick there. So that will make him the blue player. Let's go over to Spud and look at his Imperial list. Okay, so Spud's back again tonight, taking on Nick, and this is going to be his Imperial Force, tasked with defending the chemical weapons plant. Okay, Spud, do you want to talk through your list for us? All right, so I'll start with an Imperial Officer. Yep. Taking Electro Binoculars. Then move over to Darth Vader Operative with Force Choke, Force Push, and Endurance. Yep. Then move over to Boss. We've taken Targeting Scopes, Hunter, and Tenacity. Okay. Uh, then we move on to the three units of Stormies, uh, one naked, two with the DLT. Yep. Got the ATST with the twin light blaster cannon. Okay. And then a uh, scout troopers unit with the DLT sniper. Okay. How many activations are you? Uh, there's eight activations and seven, nine, six. Okay, and that makes you the red player. Okay, we'll go to Nick's battle deck and we'll get the cards picked. Okay, so this is Nick's command deck. Um, going across the top, we've got Danger Close, Major Offensive, Advanced Positions, Sabotage the Moisture Evaporators, Recover the Supplies and Intercept Transmissions, Supply Drop, Limited Visibility and Fortified Positions. Nick, you are the blue player and you have first veto. I'll veto Supply Drop. Okay, over to you, Spud. I'll skip. Okay, so Spud's going to pass back to Nick. I'll get rid of Danger Close. Seems good with the ATSD on the board. I'm going to get rid of Sabotage. Okay, so that's going to leave us with Major Offensive, Recover the Supplies, and Limited Visibility. We'll get set up and deploy. We'll come back and talk about the train and the border deployment. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, swampy planet that we've got set up for the Empire's uh, toxic waste facility. So for cover, all of the buildings and the um, TIE fighter, the pipes, the stone um, and everything that we've got down here in the facility is going to be cover two. Um, any of the vegetation, so the trees, the bushes at the back there, um, they will be cover one. Um, height we've got this is going to be height one the middle piece the pump station over there will be height one and the toxic silos will be height two um, if we look at deployment then we'll start with the empire we've got the ATST Bosk and a unit of troopers down here we've got the rebel officer and a strike team up on top of the silo Vader has infiltrated with Darkness Descends. He's uh, took a speed one move up and got two surge tokens, and he's there in the middle. We've got uh, two units of Stormtroopers down the back there. If we look at the Rebel side, we've got the ATRT with Luke there. We've got one unit of Troopers behind the pipes, a second ATRT unit of Troopers behind the pipe here. Another unit of troopers here in front of the TIE fighter. We've got the two sniper teams hiding out back here and the rebel officer behind the bushes and then one unit of troopers here. And then if we go all the way down to the bottom, the pathfinders have infiltrated up and gone behind the pump house there on the edge, okay? If we look at where the supply drops have gone, obviously we've got the one here in the center. We have another one placed by Spud this side, and then Spud's final one behind the toxic uh, refinery there. And then Nick's gone with one here behind this barricade, and then the second 
on the table edge here. And that's everything we've got for the board. We're going to go to orders. Okay, so orders for round one. We uh, Spud divulged these Darkness Descends, which you know, and Nick has gone with... Okay, standing orders, so we'll give out the tokens. Okay, so over to you then, Spud. You've got priority off the stack, and it is Trooper Unit. Okay, so who are you going to go with? I'm going to take this Trooper Unit now. Okay. Okay, so first action is going to be moving up to the supply. Your second action. Uh, second action, I'll just take a stand ball. Okay. Over to you, Nick. I'm just going to go with this unit here. Yep. They're just going to double move up to that. Okay. And then it's back to you, Ad. Going off the stack, and it is troopers again. So, I'm going to go with this. Okay, we'll let you have a think. Okay, then, Spud. Well, so I'm going to take this unit. Yep. I'm going to move. Okay. Around. And then second action. Can I get through that? Do you want a moment? Yeah, fine. Okay, we'll give you a moment. Okay, so with your second action. I'm just going to move on. Moving to base contact with the box. And that's the end of that trooper's activation. So it's okay, Nick, back to you. That's the stack. And it is one of the ATRTs. I'll go with this one. Okay. You're going to have shots on Bader, yeah? Yep, yeah. yeah, range two. We're playing limited visibility. So we'll go to the dose box and we'll roll. Okay, so with the laser cannon, that is one red, two black at Bader in heavy cover, and Bader's got two surge tokens. So it's just going to be just the suppression, so this will go away to the cover. Pop the suppression onto Vader, and that's the end of the 80s R activation. So it's back to you, Spud. Do you know what you want to do? I'm going off the stack. Okay, so off the stack, and it is your one of your snipers. Oh, it is your snipers, you've only got one. Yeah, so um, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to move these around just to be in a bit more cover. Okay. And with it being limited visibility, they're not going to be able to have any shots. So. That'll be the end of their activation. Okay. Yeah. Over to Nick. Going off the <clears throat> stack. And it is troopers. Okay, going with the bottom unit. They're just going to move up to this supply. Makes sense. Good move. Let me move them up, bring them round. And then it will be back to you, Spud. Okay. Going off the stack. And it is your rebel officer. It is the commander. Um, Do you want a moment? Yeah. We'll give you a moment. Okay, so the officer is going to take a move. Move around this way. Okay. Second action. No, just take a dodge. More as well. Yeah. Good habits. Just take a dodge. We'll stick that dodge on, and then it's back to Unique. Going off the stack, and it is special forces. So it's either snipers or your pathfinders. They're just going to do nothing. Okay. Stay there. Sure. And we're coming back to you again then, Spud. So it's Bosk this time. Okay, so Bosk who's down here. 
Do you want a moment to have yeah. a think? Big character, we'll let you have a think. Okay, so with Bosk. I'm just going to double move. You've got to be able to... La yeah, so you'll easily make it. Yeah. I can see what you're going to do. So you're going to stop behind the Stormtroopers, yeah? And then going to move up into base contact with the barrel. And that will be the end of Bosk's activation. So we're coming back to you then, Nick. <clears throat> Off the stack, and it is your commander. It is the officer. He's just going to stay there as well. Okay, so you're going to hold position. Back to you then, Ad. Oh, and it fair. is the ATST. Oh, let me have a measure. Okay, we'll give you a moment, let you do some measuring, and then. Okay, so the ATST is going to. Move into. Yeah, move up, turn him on the angle. Yeah, that's fine. And then take a standby. Okay. We'll let you put a standby token on the ATST, and that will end its activation. And it's over to Nick to go off the stack. And it is op loop, okay? We'll give you a moment. Let you go. Okay. Oh, you know what you're doing, yeah? Okay. Okay, Luke's going to move up to there in cover. Over to you, Spud. Take my last. last one off the stack. And it is a trooper unit, yeah? Troopers down here. Move. I'm double moving behind. Okay. Yeah. Moving to cover, we'll let you gear around and that'll be. That's like a standball while I'm in there. No, you've double moved. You oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Joker. Okay. No straw there, boys, bud. <laughs> Back to uni. Okay. We're going to do nothing. Okay. Uh, so it's oh, got to be Vader then. Do you want a little moment? Have a think? Yeah. Okay. Okay, spud. So what do you want to do with Vader then? I'm just going to come in and I'm going to climb the centre. Yep. So one action to move up. And that's nice and easy. And then your second action's going to be to claim. claim okay, claim the box. Uh, just flip your order token over. And that's the end of Vader's activation. And that's all of your activations now gone. So over to Nick now. We've got the, the second ITRT. Okay, we'll give you a moment and we'll come back. Okay, Nick, so ITRT. It's just going to move and move again up there. Okay, staying out of the standby range. Of the ATST, and that's the end of that activation. So we're back to Nick now, Spud's gone, and it's special forces, so it's sniper or pathfinders. Okay, going with snipes? Yeah, they're just going to do nothing like the other snipers. Okay, I'm going to hold position off the stack, <coughs> and it is the pathfinders, which are down here. Uh, do you want a moment? So, Nick, what do you want to do for your first action here with the pathfinders? I'm just going to take an aim. Okay, so we're going to aim at this band here. We're going to shoot at the band of stormtroopers that are on the box. Okay, we'll get over to the dice box. Okay, so the Pathfinders with their short range config gun is full red and then powers red and a white. Nice surge to hit. The stormtroopers are in heavy cover. The Pathfinders have a an aim. Okay, so that's a pretty that's good. So that'll become a hit. That becomes a hit. Uh, yeah, the that's a crit. So two are going to go away. It's a heavy cover. So four is going to go through. Great roll there from the Pathfinders. You don't need, you don't want to use the idea. No, no, no. uh, uh, okay, so four red then for you, Ad. Uh, so three will be saved. That's a good, another good roll and one will die. So two good rolls there from both players. We'll get a Stormtrooper removed and place a Suppression on, please. Someone. Yeah, Nick, stick that on. And one suppression on, and that's the end of the Pathfinder's activation. And then it's over to you, Nick. It's the last one, it's there. So, trooper unit. Nothing. Just going to hold position. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's the end of round one. We're going to go to tidy up and clean off all the green tokens and remove one suppression off every unit. And we'll be back for orders. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going into turn two, and Spud has gone with Master of Evil, and Nick's gone with Son of Skywalker. We've got action on turn two. Let's see how this plays out. We'll give out the orders, and we'll come back. Okay, so Vader's got his order token and a dodge. You give one to the ATST, and the only other unit in range is this Stormtrooper unit down here. And then Nick, being a Son of Skywalker turn, has given his one token here. So... Nick, it's over to you to go first. So Luke's just going to jump the wall. Yeah. Go into contact with Vida. Yeah. And fight. Little attack. Okay. Okay, so with Luke using his one action to jump over and um, trigger charge, he's now got seven black dice with Pierce to... Uh, sorry, Vida's immune to Pierce, so the Pierce won't matter. And Vida has a dodge. Okay, Nick, when you're ready... Seven black, surgeon to crit. Okay, so pull out the blanks because everything else will be a hit because it surges to crit. So four, so do you want to spend your dodge? No. This. Okay. So. Okay, so roll your four red. Oh, oh that's four wounds on Vader. <laughs> oh, that's an awful roll. <laughs> Okay, so now we've got Vader, uh, Luke's second attack with Son of Skywalker. So seven black again. Vader could be in trouble here. Could be going down. Okay, so it's four again. Spending your no, dodge. And now he's going to spend his dodge to take that down to three. Three red then add. Oh! <laughs> you would save one. There, because you now because you've used your dodge, you oh, took that off. A four went through. Four went through. Yeah, four went okay, through. so four went through. So yeah, one's gone off, and Vida goes down. That's a great kill for Son of Skywalker. Luke taking down Vida, and now Luke's gonna get his second action. With Luke murdering his father, he's just moved up to the box in the middle um, with his last activation, and that's gonna end. Luke's turn. Uh, it's over to you, Spud. Looking for some revenge. Yeah, so I'm going to take an aim. Okay, so we're going with the ATST. We're just going to take an aim, and I guess we're going to shoot at Luke yeah. out in the open. Okay, so we'll go to the dice box. Okay, so we're going with the ATST. That's going to be triple rainbow, three red, three black, three white. Uh, add as an aim, and Luke activated force reflexes at the end of his turn, so he's got a dodge. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So there's only two misses there. Gonna so you're going to re-roll them with your aim, yeah? Okay, so re-roll them. Okay, so one more is going to go through. So that's eight out of nine. So we're going to need eight red dice for you, Nick. And then we'll get that rolled. Do you want to spend your dodge? Yeah, so you, yeah, spend your dodge to remove, take one off. And that gives Luke surging... On defense as well, so to deflect back at the ATST. Okay, so one. Five. So, what? How many went through? Sorry. Uh, seven. Seven, so he's going to take two wounds. Okay. We'll get that sorted out, put the wounds on, and we'll come back. Okay, so that's going to end the ATST's activation. Take the aim off and flip it. Uh, Luke needs to get two wounds. He spent the dodge. Takes two wounds and a suppression, and then it's over to you, Nick. It's troopers. And it's just going to be troopers. It's going to be these. Okay. They're just going to climb that box. Yep, so that's their first action. And then they're just going to run away. Okay. Let Yuka hear them round, and then we'll be coming over to you, Ad. Okay, Spud, going off your stack. Boss. And it's Bosk. Okay, we'll give you a moment and let you have a think. Okay, so we're going with Bosk. His first action is going to be to move down here. It's going to give him line of sight to this trooper unit over here, which I think he's going to have out in the open. At range three, because we're still playing um, limited vis in turn two. So it's just going to be shot, yeah? yeah. Okay, we'll go to the dice box. Okay, so Bosk is surged to crit, three whites and a red, and it's a suppressive weapon. So, yep, one's going to go through, and he's got pierce, so that's just going to remove um, a man. There's no need to roll its pierce. 
So one's going to come off um, to suppression onto that unit there. And that's going to end uh, Bosk's activation. We're over to Unique. Okay, and it's going to be Special Forces. So we'll give you a moment and then we'll come back. Okay, so Nick going with the snipers? Yeah, and they're just going to stay where they are. Okay, still under the restrictions of limited visibility. And then we're coming back to you, Ad. Okay, and it is your snipers. So if you check range three, I think the only thing you potentially got range is to Luke, which... No. no. Okay, so they're not going to be able to have range. Unless they move, you can have a think if you want. We'll give you a moment, let you think. Okay, so Spud's done some measuring, and if he moves right to the edge of the toxic silo, he's then at range three to Luke Skywalker, who's in the middle there. So it's going to be two black... Um, where Luke's going to have no cover, I don't think. We'll maybe check that and then we'll go to the dice box. So, uh, Ad's going to have two black. Luke does have a suppression, but that light cover will be reduced by Sharpshooter 1. Um, and Luke's immune to pierce, so there'll be no pierce from the sniper rifles. Oh, nice. Okay, so two hits. No, I don't. There's no surge on defense for Luke. I think that's going to be two more wounds. Two more wounds going on to Luke. Great shooting by the snipers there. Crack shot. We'll pop them wounds onto Luke. And that will end the snipers activation. And it's going to be over to... Okay, wounds going on. And then it's over to Unique. And another suppression on the snipers. I'm the, sorry, on Luke. Special forces. Okay. Pathfinders. Okay, we'll let you go with the Pathfinders. Give you a moment. Okay, so Nick's going with these Pathfinders and he's going to do the same again. Take an aim using the short range config and shoot at this Stormtrooper unit here again. Okay, we'll go to the dice box. Okay, so the Pathfinders, four red for the short range config and then powers red and white with an aim at the Stormtroopers in heavy cover. Surge to hit. Okay, so... You've got the surge, and you're going to get to re-roll two if you want to spend your aim. Oh, this is another great roll, because that's going to surge to become a hit. Two are going to come off to the heavy cover. Ad needs another one of them glorious Stormtrooper rolls he had from the first turn. So four red. You can only see two units here, so you can only lose two at the max. So. And you will be losing them too as you don't surge on defence. Them red boys may have deserted Ad with Vader going down. And now two trooper units coming off down there. Okay, we're going to get that sorted and then we'll come back. So what we've done with that trooper unit down there, Nick could uh, kill the unit leader. So we replaced the unit leader for one he couldn't see. And that's the suppression going on. And then it's over to you. And it is troopers, okay? Do you know where you want to go? Uh... I'm going to come in here. Okay. So they need to take a rally step. So we'll grab a white dice and roll a rally. We'll see how... Just roll it up here. We'll do... no, but... And it's a blank. So they're going to get one action this turn. So the action will be to claim... Yeah, claim the box. Claim the box. Okay. And, then be... and that's the end of their turn. Yeah. Over to Nick going off the stack. Special forces, so it's the second lot of snipers. And they're just gonna hold on. Okay. Back to you again then, Ad. And it is your officer. Yeah. Okay, so we'll give you a moment and then we'll come back. Okay, so the rebel officer. First action, gonna be moving up. Second action. I'm just gonna move up again and get nice in these trees. Okay, sure, into the cover. And that's going to be end of the officer's activation. Back to Nick. Going off the stack. What's that? It is your rebel officer. And he's going to do nothing. Okay, he's going to hold position. So I'm going to... Go with this trooper me. unit down here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's going to move up with your first action. Yeah, just get to yeah, to range three. Then we're going to be having shots at this trooper unit that will be in heavy cover this time behind the barricade. Okay, we'll go to the dice box. 
So the Stormtrooper unit is going to be four white, two red, surging to hit with the troopers in heavy cover. Okay, so that's a good roll because they're all, all the surges are going to become hits. And then two are going to go away. So we'll just add two red to heavy cover. So it's going to be three white to defend, surging on defense. So you're going to save two and lose one. And that unit will gain another suppression. So they're up to three suppression now. And then it's over to you, Nick. Good roll there for Spud. Okay, so we've got one of the ATRTs. We'll give you a moment, Nick, and we'll be back. Okay, so going with this AT ATRT, sorry, here, Nick's going to take an aim with his laser cannon and he's going to be shooting at the ATST. Okay, so it's going to be one red, two black with a name. This has got impact three. Okay, do you, that, that was cocked. That was cocked. Re roll that. So, so you get to re roll the two black with your aim. Whole black dice letting you down. So one's going to go through. Uh, one white dice, Ad, to defend. Do you have red dice then, Ad? No. You wish that ATST rolled red dice? No. no. So that's going to be the first wound onto the ATST. Put a wound on. And that's the end of the ATRT's activation. Okay, so going off the stack, we know that it's this last trooper unit because it's all you've got left, yeah? Yeah. So I'm just going to move these round. Okay. Then you're going to shoot back at the pathfinders that are behind the pump station. There, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, four white dice. We'll go to the box. So four white from the Stormtrooper Surgeon to hit. We've had a look, and because Spud's touching the piece of terrain, the Pathfinders are going to be out in the open, but they do have duck and cover if Nick chooses to use it. So four white dice then. So one crit's going to come through. So um, do you want to use duck and cover to add a suppression and roll an extra defense dice? No. No, you just want to roll the one? Yeah. Okay. No, so that'll be one dead. Okay, we'll get that uh, one Pathfinder off the board and add a, su add a suppression. Stick a suppression onto them behind there, and that's the end of their activation. So it's over to you, Nick. It's troopers. Troopers. So got a big rally step here, so... So no, they're not going to. So they're only going to get one action. Are they within three of your commander? So they're not panicked. I think they will be, won't they? And you can, yeah, your commander's courage is two. So they won't be panicked. They're just going to claim the box. Okay, so their action is going to be claim the box. And that's the end of their activation. So Spud's all activations are used now. So it's going to stay on Nick. Troopers. It's going to be troopers. Do nothing. Okay, so they're just going to hold. Next lot of troopers. No, it's not. It's the ATRT. Okay, so that's the end of their activation. So they're going to hold. Next lot of troopers. No, it's not. It's the ATRT. Okay, so that's the end of their activation. So they're going to hold. Next lot of troopers. No, it's not. It's the ATRT. Okay, so that's the end of their activation. So they're going to hold. Next lot of troopers. No, it's not. It's the ATRT. Okay, so the ATRT is going to take an aim, Nick. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be shooting at the ATST with its laser cannon. We'll go to the box. Okay, so one red, two black. With impact three at the ATST. Okay, so two have gone through. Now, do you want to re roll yeah. the blank with your aim? You do surge to crit as well. No, so it's going to be two. They will go to crits with the impacts to get through the armor on the ATST. And then two white doors to defend. Oh, that's a great roll. Two white save there. Brilliant rolling from Spud on them white dice. And then that's the end of the ATRT's activation. I'm going to just flip its order token. And then it's over to you, Nick, for the last, troopers. last trooper unit. I don't think I can do anything. But they're just going to start. We're going to stand and hold. And that's going to be the end of turn two. So the rebels taking advantage in turn two by killing Vader. Uh, we're going to clean up, remove all green tokens and one suppression. And then we'll be back for... Turn three. 
Okay, so the start of turn three, and Nick has gone with You Serve Your Master Well, Luke's other one pip. And Ad's gone with Standing Orders. Is that a sign that he's got a lot of Vida Command cards in his hand that he can no longer play? Um, okay, so we're going to give out these orders and then we'll come back. Okay, so with Standing Orders, uh, Spuds give one to the ITST, and then with You Serve Your Master Well, um, Nick's give it to Luke. Do you want to go through what you've played? Um, you serve your master well because you're not going to get the most out of the card. But Yeah, I know it's the waste of what it does, but he needs to get out of there. That ITSD is looking down at him. And yeah. I need to get that crate and run. I agree. You needed to go with Luke with a one-pip. You're not going to get to take control of um, any of Spud's trooper units now, but you will have priority and get out of there. So it is, it's over to you, Nick. So um, you've got to take it. You're going with Luke. Yeah. Take your rally step. Okay, so you're still going to get two actions, so... He'll climb the... Uh, yeah, blocks. climb the box, and then he's going to jump back over the wall. Okay, so move his tokens with him, and then that's the end of his activation. So it's over to you. Um, yeah, I'm going to activate... Yep, so clear, um, we're back to normal clear conditions now. So, so I'm going to activate the ITST, yep. take an shoot the ITRT. Then shoot the ITRT. Okay, we'll go to the dice box. Okay, so the ATST has got triple rainbow and it's going to have impact four because it's shooting at the ATRT, which has armor as well. So, do you want to get rolling? Okay, so pick up all the blanks. This is You've got an aim as well, haven't you? Yep, I don't think it's going to matter. It's not going to matter because within... Oh, hang on. One, it might. You've got two natural creatures. Yeah, it does. It will matter. So roll two. So what have you got? Yeah, to roll the red and the black again. Okay, so you don't have any surge yet. So then with your impact four, these four hits will become crits. And that will put six through on the ATRT. So we're going to need six white. Needs to see, it doesn't surge on defence either, does it? So we need to see shields here. And that's a dead ATRT. So a great roll there from the ATST, removing Nick's uh, ATRT. And that's an activation off the board for the Empire. And that's the end of the ATST's turn. Okay, Nick, your activation. And it is the ATRT. Gonna aim and shoot back. Okay, aim the shoot the ATST. Let's go to the door box. Okay, with an aim, surge into crit, one red, two blacks, impact three. Surge into crit, so they'll both go to crits. And then we get to re-roll this. Get try and get it in the box. <laughs> no, so it's gonna be two. So two white. Surgeon on defense, so it'll save one and take a wound. Okay, so we'll put that wound on, and that'll be the end of the ATRT's go. And then it's over to you, Ad. We'll let you go off the stack, and Boss. it is Bosk. Okay, that's a great pull there. We'll give you a moment and we'll come back. Okay, so going with Bosk. Move up. Okay, you're gonna move up. So you've got that trooper unit now past the cover of the barricade, yeah? And they'll have light cover because of the suppression, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be uh, a red and three white. Let's go to the dice box and we'll get that rolled. Okay, one red, three white, surgeon's crit and it's suppressive. Oh, that's a good roll. So, That'll become a crit, that becomes a hit. One's going to go away because of the cover for the suppression. So it's going to be two white, so it could be a dead trooper unit here. No, he's going to save one and lose one. So one mini's come off. Two suppression's going to go on because Bosk's gun is suppressive. That puts them up to four and there's just the unit leader left. Nice turn by Bosk and that will end Bosk's activation. Over to you, Nick. It's going to be troopers. We'll give you a moment and then we'll come back.
Okay, Nick, so you've chosen which troop you need to go with, yeah? Please. Okay. Now just going to get out of there with that supply box. Now double moving. And then the box has got to stay in base contact with the unit leader. Yep, and that's go. And that's the end of their activation. So it's over to you, Ad, off the stack. And it's troopers. Okay, we'll give you a moment. Okay, Ad, so you're going with this trooper unit here, yeah? Yeah, I'm just going to move them around. It's been long, so with these, have shots of the pathfinders. Okay, so that's going to be two red and a white, and we'll go to the box. Okay, so two red and a white at the pathfinders that are in the open. Oh. And the surgeon to hit, so that's going to go through. It's just a hit. Do you want to take a... Suppression. You're going to use duck and cover to take a suppression, which will give them light cover, and that's going to go away. And we'll put that suppression onto the pathfinders, and then they'll take another suppression because of the heat, so it would two on them. Okay, so two suppression, and then it's over to Unique. It's true, please. Yeah. These, they're just gonna stay. Just gonna hold position, yep, yeah. okay. <clears throat> over to you, Ad. So I'm gonna go off the stack again. And it is special forces, it's gonna be your sniper, so we'll let you have a look and a measure, and then We'll give you a moment. So with the snipers, you're gonna take an eye. Yep, easy got range at the ATRT. So we're gonna be looking for some crits. Two black, let's go to the dice box. So two black with Pierce, and we're looking for crits. Oh <laughs> nice. And then with Pierce, that's gonna negate that to a blank, and that'll be two wounds. On the ATRT, that sniper is a crazy. He picked off Luke for two, and then he's picked off that for two. He's going to be getting a promotion at the end of this battle. Over to you, Nick. And it's special forces. We'll give you a moment, let you have a think. So, Nick's choosing to go with the Pathfinders, going to roll their rally step. What? Well, no, is that a blank? Yeah. yeah. It is a blank, so that will be down to one action. I'll just shoot at the okay, so that stormtrooper unit are <laughs> going to be in the open, and we'll go to the doors box. It's going to be four red and a white surgeon to hit. Oh, and one. it's it's a banger. Went to the four it's two. Come up now. Oh, you need red doors, red mate. Doors. You can roll white if you want, but that stormtrooper armor. <laughs> they're all reds. Okay, so there's only two units left. Oh, oh okay, so we're going to lose one man, but that's a great save because it keeps the unit leader and the box carrier alive. So two good rolls there. That stormtrooper's come off, and we've left the unit leader on. And that's the end of the Pathfinder's activation. Okay, so going to go off the stack there, and it is troopers. We're going with this trooper unit down here. I'm going to move. Okay. The sniper. Okay, we'll let you have a, a measure. Okay. And then you're going to have attacks. And then I'm going to shoot at the lonely trooper, see yeah. if you can't finish him off. That's going to be in heavy cover and heavily suppressed. So this stormtrooper unit's going to be two red for the DLT, four white, surging to hit. It's not a bad roll, so that's going to be four. Two's going to go away to heavy cover. Two's going to come through, so two white dice. Well, that's going to be an activation off the board. So one's missed, so the, yeah, that's it. He's going to die. So that trooper unit comes off the board. The barrel, well, the supplies will get dropped and left there. And that's a great turn for Spud with that barrel being out in the open now. Game's back on. Okay, Nick, off your stack. Snipers. Okay, so the two these going with this unit down yeah. here. I can see Bosque. You've got Bosque, yeah. He's got yeah, he's got a lot of sight on Bosque. 
Thick and iron. Cool. Yep. And then we'll go to the box and get that rolled. So Bosk in the open. This is a black and a white with PS1 with an iron. So we'll re-roll both. Yep, so one's going to go through. That'll be a wound on Bosk because it's got PS. So place the first wound onto Bosk and a suppression. And that will end the sniper's activation. And then we'll go into your stack, Adam. Okay, go off your stack. What we've got? Stormies. We've got the stormtroopers down there, okay? <clears throat> Give you a moment. Okay, so this Stormtrooper at four down here, we're going to take an aim and shoot at these uh, Pathfinders that will have light cover from this suppression. Okay, so four white surging to hit. Oh. Okay, so it's going to be one hit that's going to go away to the cover of the Pathfinder suppression, but it will add another suppression to that Pathfinder unit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got an aim? Sorry, yeah, he's got an aim. So... So we'll leave, sorry, my bad, I forgot your aim. We'll leave that hit on. With Pasol, she gets a re-roll three. Oh, bloody. <laughs> Bet you're glad you remembered that aim. So that's going to become a hit. Uh, a hit. So it's going to be four hits. Then one's going to go away. Um, so the suppression. So then you've got to get to roll three white dice. How many suppression they got on them? Two. So you'll get to roll five white. You can add a suppression if you want with duck yeah, and cover. Well. So you'll add another suppression so you'll get... Let me just check. What's their danger sense? Is it two or three? You might choose not to. Three. Three. So you can, you can add that third suppression and roll that extra white dice then. So you'll have six white. So size three. Sorry about that, guys. Just making sure we get this right. Okay, so let's pull the blanks off. Three blanks. They surge on defence. Three. There's, three yeah, they surge on defence. Yeah. So that'll block all three non-dead. Yeah, so yeah, that's right. three blocks to the three hits. I'll just take another suppression. We'll put that on and then we'll come back. Okay, so uh, with the danger sense and being attacked, that's going to take the Pathfinders up to uh, four suppression. Now it ends this Stormtrooper's activation. I've spent the aim and it's over to you off the stack. And that's going to be the Rebel Officer. We'll give you a moment, let you have a think. With the Rebel Officer, you're just choosing to double move? Yeah, double move. Sure. He's going to support his right flank with the Rebel Officer. Seems like a solid play with that unit with the box. Pretty weak over there. We're going back to Nick now. Troopers. And it's just oh. troopers. Them. And they are. Do you want a moment? Let you do some measuring. No, they're not going to do nothing. Not going to do nothing. Staying and holding. Stay home, troopers. Back to you then, Ad. I'm out. Oh, is all his activations are gone. We'll stay with you, Nick. And it is the other snipers. Okay, we'll let you do some measuring. Give you a sec. Okay, Nick. So, what do you want to do with these snipers? They're just going to move up behind here so they can see, so you can see Bosk. Okay. So it's going to be taking that same shot as the other sniper yep. at Bosk down here that would have light cover from the suppression, but that will be reduced from the sharpshooter. So it's going to be one hit. At, um, yeah, it's PS, yeah, so that will go straight through and put a wound on Bosk. And add another suppression to bring him up to two. And two wounds. Mm -hmm. And then you again, Nick. Up on activations over the Empire. Gone. So that's a dead ITRT. Gone. I know that. No, gone. We'll get this sorted and we'll come back. And we've sorted that out. Uh, Nick had made the error and he had gone with the snipers when he had pulled his commander token, but it wouldn't have mattered because um, the snipers only shot at Bosk, who's been down here, and Bosk's been there since like, the second activation for the Empire. So um, you've got to go with the commander now. And he's just going to stab where he is. Yep, sure. 
and then is that everything yeah and that ends the turn three in what is turning out to be a very close game let's have a look at state of play so with this rebel unit being deleted here that's dropped the box we have this box which is surrounded by empire troops but not yet been claimed we have luke that's claimed one here and he's in hiding at the middle we've got one more claim by the rebels that seems pretty secure down in the far corner then if we go around here that box up there is claimed by one stormtrooper there for the Empire. So this is turning out to be a close game. We're going to go clean up, remove suppression and green tokens, and then we'll come back for orders. Okay, so we're going into the start of turn four, which is a, in a, turning out to be a great game. This is very close, could go all the way. Ad, what have you gone with? We've gone with standing orders again. And Nick's gone with push. Okay, so we'll give out the orders and then we'll be back. So Spud with his one has gone with Bosk down here. And then Nick's given his two to his snipers behind the tie fighter down here. So Nick, you'll have priority. I'm going with the sniper. Okay. And I aim and shoot at Bosk. Okay, aim, shoot, Bosk. So that'll be a red and a black. We'll go to the box. Uh, correction, I said red and black, I meant uh, white and black, sorry, with an aim. Uh, they've got sharpshooters, so box suppression will be dropped down. So that's going to be a crit, and then they surge to hit, don't they, I believe? Yeah, they surge to hit, so that's going to be two, so you're going to have to roll uh, two white defence. So nope, it's going to be two more wounds onto Bosk. And now that will trigger, Bosk will now be enraged. Uh, okay, over to you then, Ad. Going with Bosk, he's got his rally step. He's going to remove one off, so he's going to get two actions. So one suppression will come off. I'm going to follow this line down here. Okay. Now I'm going to have shots at that. One guy there that you yeah. can see, yeah. Okay. We'll go to the box. So Spud's done some uh, more looking and measuring. It can actually, through the toy fighter, see the sniper that hasn't gone, which is on the end, which is the second one there. So he's going to be having shots at him. So we're going to go to the box. <coughs> so the snipers are in heavy cover. This is a red and three white. Surging to crit and it's suppressive. Okay, so that's going to be, that'll become a crit. This one will go away to the cover. So that's one going through, Nick. No. And that'll be two suppression. So the sniper will replace the guy with the binoculars, because it's the unit leader. And that'll be two suppression onto that unit there. And that will end Bosk's activation. I know, oh, no, sorry, you're right. You've got regenerate. Yes, yeah, so roll three white dice then. Uh, get two more, and we'll go to the box. So, Bosk with Regenerate gets to roll three white dice. Any paint will remove wounds. No, so he's blanked out. Uh, so, he'll keep his four wounds for now. And that's the end of Bosk's activation. Over to you, Nick, yeah? Go with that sniper. He's going to go with the sniper. So, roll your rally step. No, so he's going to have one action. We'll let you have a think. No, he's just going to move back to where he was. Okay. <laughs> And that'll be the end of that sniper's turn. It's over to you, Ad. Off your stack, what you pulled. Uh, so I'm going to... Troopers. Do you want a moment now? Have a think. We'll give you a moment. Mm. No, sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. I'm going with these guys down here. I'm just going to... I'll just shift up a little bit more. Okay. We'll let you measure. Okay, so Spud's done some measuring, and he can get range onto that sniper there, so he's just going to move up here around and take shots at the sniper team in heavy cover. Let's go to the doors box. This is going to be two red for the DLT, four white for the stormtroopers, surging to hit at the sniper team in heavy cover. So it's going to be two that are going to go away to the heavy cover. So that would surge to become a hit. And then to heavy cover will remove them and stick a suppression 
on that team there. And then that's the end of the Troopers activation. It's over to you, Nick. Off your stack, what's that? It's Troopers. It's Troopers. We'll give you a moment. Okay, Nick, going with the Troopers that have been doing nothing all game. They've been lying in wait. They're going to take their opportunity. Yep, they're going to move out. And they're going to be having shots at this Stormtrooper unit down here. So that's going to be four black. Let's go to the box. So four black at the Troopers in the open. Uh, it's going to be one. You don't search it with the Rebels. So one red. No. Nope. So that will be a dead Trooper and a Suppression. Going on. And that's the end of that Trooper's activation. Over to you, Ad. Off the stack. And you've got your snipers out, mate. Snipers. snipers. Uh, so I'm going to type an aim. Aim shooter. The ATRT. ATRT yeah. Okay, let's go to the box. So this is the sniper that's not missed all game. Let's hope we're not jinxing him. Needs crits. So you need might as well just re-roll both. It's, it's how you know, you're crit fishing. It's got one and it's PS1. So that will put another wound onto the ATRT. That brings it up to three wounds now. One off its resiliency test, and that ends the sniper's activation. Off your stack, Nick. Luke. And it's Luke, okay. We'll give you a moment, and we'll be back. Okay, Nick, so what are you going to be doing with Luke? He's going to jump the ATR to. Yep. Yeah. Land here. Yeah. And then he's just going to go behind the tree. Okay. Sure thing, move the box and his wounds, and that will be the end of Luke's activation. It's over to you. It is troopers. It's gonna be one of the two down there. We'll give you a moment. Okay, so this unit of troopers down here is gonna be taking a name and shooting at the pathfinders, and they've been having a little war all game. Let's go to the box. Okay, so four white dice, surgeon to hit with a name. Boom, you're not going to need that aim. So surge to hit. So basically two are going to go away. No, sorry, one. They've only got light cover, haven't they? So one will go away. So threes. No, no, no they've got suppression no on suppression them. Injury, so uh, Nick, you're going to get three white dice. And because you've got three suppression, you can roll three extra because of danger sense. So six white. That Stormtrooper unit have rolled well all okay. game. Oh, that's bad. So one's going to get blocked. So two Pathfinders are going to come off. Okay, so that's another suppression. Two Pathfinders coming off to just leave power and one other guy. And that ends this Trooper's activation. They didn't need to spend that aim. That can stay on for now. And then it's back to Unique off the stack. And it is the Officer. So we've got the Officer down here. Okay, so the Officer, Nick. Do nothing again. Do you want to take a dodge? No. Nope. No? Okay. Over to you then, Ad. It is Trooper, so it's going to be this lonely Stormtrooper guy with the barrel. He's just going to come round here, sit pretty, and going to take a standby. Okay. We can give him a standby, and then it's back to you, Nick. Okay, but well, we've got Troopers. Okay, we'll give you a moment. Okay, Nick's going with this trooper unit down here. Move, no opportunities present itself. You're just going to hold position. I'll take a dodge. Okay, I'll take, take a dodge. dodge. Yeah. Then we'll come back to you, Spud. And it is the ATST. Okay, we'll let you have a moment here. As for the ATST, you're going to be moving up. You're not going to move full move, are you? No, so, I'm not going to full okay. move. Okay. I'm just going to come the other side. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to have... Uh... Do you want to have a think about who you're shooting at? Yeah. We'll give you a moment. Big turn. Spud's, Spud's going to be shooting at the ATR to try and remove the activation. Let's go to the doors box. Okay, three red, three black, three white with impact four. Uh, okay, so there's quite a few blanks in there. Pulled up 
So it's just going to be four going through with the impact. They would all become crits. So four white nick, you could lose that ATR to here. You've rolled five, man. Oh. But it's dead anyway. No, hang on. So yeah, you yeah, three would go on, but it would die anyway. So that would be three more wounds and the ATRT's off the board. ATST doing well and destroying the enemy vehicles. And it's over to Unic to go off the stack. And it is gonna be troopers. I think they've gone. I think they're dead. No, they're not no they've got them yeah. down there. They're just going to stay where they are. Okay. Over to you, Ad. Last activation. Last activation. It's just... Okay, got your Rebel Officer. I'm going to move round into here and just have a pop shot of the pathfinders. Okay. So I can't, you know, I can't, I can't give anyone a, an aim. Yeah. I can't, I'm going to move around. Okay, we'll let you move and then can't we'll go to the bottom side. So Spud's done some measuring and he can't get line of sight on the pathfinders with the officer. So he's just going to take a dodge with that officer and that will end the activation. And then we go back to Nick's activation, which I think is the pathfinders, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so hang on, we're going to how many suppression on them now? For okay, so they need to roll uh, two off here, or they're going to no, yeah, sorry, if they don't roll none off, they will be panicked. So they'll roll three off, that's a great roll. So three will come off, and they will get two actions now. I'll start thinking. Okay, we'll give you a minute. Okay, Nick, so Pathfinders, okay. Closing in on the box. Give him something to think about. <laughs> I like it. The power's going on a suicide mission. Very Rogue One-esque. I like it. I like it. And that's the end of turn four. Okay, so we're going to go to clean up, get all the green tokens off, remove the suppression, and we'll be back for orders. Okay, so orders for turn five. Ad, you've gone with Reptilian Rampage. And Nick's gone with Covering Fire. So you will have priority this turn, Ad. Let's give out the orders. And we'll come back. Given his three orders out to his core units, as Covering Fire says to do. And then Ad's give his to Bosk. Uh, just want to say before we go any further, guys, if you like the terrain, we've got videos for these pikes here in our trash section. The pump house, there's a short video on how we made that. And then we've got another trash build on how to make them toxic silos. So if you're liking the terrain, go check them videos out, guys. Let us know down in the comments what you think. Uh, we're back to you, Ad, for Bosks. Yeah, so I'm going uh, to... Take a wound. To, gonna... Yeah, take a wound to take use a free move. move action. And now you can have two attacks. So yeah, I'm gonna attack the snipers. Okay, first one at the snipers. Let's go to the box. Shooting at the snipers with one unit left, one man left. So this is gonna be one red, three white in heavy cover surge to crit. So two crits are gonna go through, so no cover will be applied. Uh, this has got PS1 as well. Is Boss. He dead? Oh yes, he's dead, yeah. And then we'll let you have a moment to see where you want Boss's second attack. Okay, so Bosk then is now going to shoot at the other snipers and he can only see the one. Uh, so again to the dice box, three white and a red. Okay, so we've got that creep through. Uh, that'll go away to the cover with the pierce, which I think we may have forgot earlier in the game, but we've remembered now. Bring that sniper off and the unit leader will then replace there. And that's on a roll for Bosk regenerate, so three white dice. Could do with rolling a couple off here. He's only got two wounds left. One. One. So you'll get one wound off. You'll be on four wounds. And that's the end of boss activation. Not a bad turn. And not a bad turn. But it was a reptilian rampage. So it's over to you, Nick. Off the stack. Yep. And it is Luke. Probably not what you wanted to pull. <laughs> The look on the face says it all. <laughs> Do you want a moment, mate? 
Luke's getting out of there. You can just jump and tuck in beyond there. You're kind of up with the end of Luke's activation. Over to you, Ad. So I'm gonna... Troopers. Okay, we'll give you a moment. <coughs> Going with this trooper unit here. I'm going to double move. He's got his two actions. He's getting out of there with that box. Seems good to me. Okay, that ends that trooper's turn. Over to you, Nick. I'm gonna go off the stack. Sure. And it is the officer. Do you want a moment? No, he's gonna... Can he give them a dodge and then take a dodge himself? He can do that, yeah. He's got... He can do take cover. For his first action on the troopers, and then he can give himself a dodge with his second action. Seems good to me. Back to you then, Ad, off the stack. And it is the ATST. We'll give you a moment, mate. Okay, so with the ATST, I'm just going to move up. And you have having shots at. Shots at this. this trooper unit here. Okay, let's go to the box. So Spud's looking to delete this yeah. trooper unit here with his triple rainbow. Oh, uh, okay. So remove the surges as well because you surges. So we've got four going through. Not a great roll, but four whites. Nick needs a save. Surging on defense. Two. Oh, three. three. Saved all three. That's a great roll from the Rebels. Saves three and we'll lose one man. Okay, Nick, so it's over to you. This unit here. Yep. They've been yeah. lying in wait again all game and they're coming out. So they can see. Yep, yeah, they can see this trooper unit here. Yeah. Is it range free? Yeah, if we give it a measure. Yeah. Okay, and they're going to have shots at this trooper unit down here. Let's go to the box. Okay, so Nick's got four black. He's got a clear lane on the stormtrooper, so they're not going to have any cover. So it's going to be two. So two red. You'll save one, lose one. So one comes off and take a suppression. And then it's over to you, Ad. Okay, so off your stack, Ad. And it is your officer who's going to be over there. I'll give you a moment. Okay, so you've done some measuring, so you're going to move with your officer and have shots at the Pathfinders. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the box. So we've checked on the line of sight, the, uh, because there's only two men in the unit, they have got heavy cover, the Pathfinders. So roll your black and your white. What do we surge on? I'm not sure what the officers is. Surge to hit. Surge to hit, but that's going to go away to the cover. So it will just be a suppression on the Pathfinders. And that will end the officer's turn. And then it's back to you, Nick. Uh, Do you want to have a measure in them? Give you a moment. We'll do some no, measuring. Got they've got range, yeah. So you need to roll your rally off. No. Nope. No. So it'd just be one action. You're going to shoot at the storms. Okay. So let's go to the box. Back at the stormtroopers in light cover because of the suppression. One. We'll need to roll one, one more in the box. So yeah, one will come off and then roll one red. So it's saved, but will be another suppression. This might be crucial, the suppression going on. And then it's over to you, Ad. And it is this trooper unit. So we need to take that rally step to see if you're going to get one or two actions. We need to roll off both suppression to get two. Two white. Rolling in the box, okay. One. Rolls off one. Which is okay, because they would have panicked if you didn't actually get that other one off. So you, that was a good roll. So you're going to get one action. 
No one action. Yeah, so just, you can move your other troopers out of the way, remember. You can just... No one action is to turn back. What's the quickest route? Okay, we'll let you measure and then show you where you end up. Where the stormtroopers have ended up and we just measured and then can just make the box and claim it next turn. It's getting very close in this corner. So over to you, Nick. And Sniper. it is the snipers. Hmm. Okay, so roll off your two, two suppression. We'll oh. Roll both off. So you're going to get two actions. He's going to move out. Okay. Shoot the storms. Okay, so black and a white shooting at the stormtroopers. They're going to be in the open. And he's blanked it. Unlucky there. That suppression not going on won't be costly. <laughs> Ad's holding the head. He knows he's got lucky. Okay, over to you. Troopers. Um, okay, we'll give you a moment. Okay, so with this trooper unit here, yeah, you're just going to move into base contact with the pathfinders. Move the rest of the unit round to cover all the, get them all on. And we'll go to the dice box and see if Stormtroopers can punch out a unit of Pathfinders. Okay, so Stormtroopers in melee, four black dice against the two Pathfinders. Oh, oh and they've blanked it. Oh, no, the surge to hit, so it's going to be one. That's an unlucky roll there. It'll be one dead, and that will just leave Pow in that unit to bring off that one. And close the Stormtroopers round. And that's the end of their activation. Back to you, Nick. Off the stack. And it is it is going to be Pav. He's just going to fight back. Uh, is he black in melee? Black. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so one black. Swinging back. Nope. And he's blanked out. These, these are crap at hand-to-hand fighting. <laughs> Okay, off the stack, and it is the snipers. Um, yeah, I'm just going to... Uh... Do you want to measure? Just that I don't think they have got range to this unit behind the bag. We won't be the only ones. No, they're going to be just just short, yeah. Yeah, just on that. So, yeah, I was just going to take a dog. Okay, and that's the end of their activation. Nick's last activation down here is... These. Yeah. He's going to move to... Yeah. Get in range. Come round so they can all see him. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot at Bosk. Okay, shooting at Bosk. Let's go to the box. So this is the unit with the extra true pass. It's going to be five black at Bosk in the open. So it's three. A good roll, better than average. So three going through. Bosk needs to save here or he will die. So three white, mate, for Bosk. Head, no. Oh. Three white needs a shield. No. And he's blanked out, and that's going to be the end of Bosk. Bosk comes off the board. <laughs> and that's a great move there by that rebel unit. Uh, they've got a box, haven't they, Nick? Put the box yeah. in. Yeah. Okay, and that is you got is that the end? Yeah. And that's the end of that turn. We're going to go to clean up. Okay, so going into the final turn with what's a very close game. Ad's gone with standing orders and Nick's also gone with standing orders, okay? Because, yeah, I think his other cards are Luke and with Bosk and Vader being dead, it makes sense that this is all that's left. So we'll roll off. Um, Nick, you'll be shields, yeah? Ad, you'll be blanks and surge. It's Ad's with blanks and surges. Okay, we'll give out some orders and then we'll come back. So Nick's give his one order to this sniper down here. Um, Nick is in possession of that box there and Luke Skywalker is behind the pump house with a box there. Ad's given his one order to the trooper unit in hand-to-hand -hand with Pow. Um, and Adam has one box at the moment down there but is in contention to catch this box here. So... Um, and with this box just being out in the open, this is a close game. It could finish 
uh, with two boxes each and on points. So, okay. Just okay, ads going off the stack. And it is Troopers. Okay, so we're going to go with this unit down here. And now I've got a very simple job that they need to do. Move. Yep, and you're in base contact. And then I'm going to capture. Claim, yeah. Claim the box. Okay, and that's the end of their activation. So now it's two boxes each. Close game with points probably going to be close also. Over to Unic. Off the stack and it's Troopers. Do you want a moment? Yeah. Okay, so we're going with this Trooper unit down here. I'm going to move back down there. Yep, yeah, move back into cover. And that'll be the end of... Oh, no, they get second action. Dodge. And take a dodge. Okay, back to you then, Ad. And it is the snipers. Nothing's changed no, since the last no, turn, so they're not, the last time, so. they're not going to be able to do anything. So I'm going to take a dodge. Yeah, take a dodge. And Okay, back to you, Nick. And it is special forces. So it's got to be power. Do you want a moment? No, I'll just stop eating. Okay, we we'll go to the box. See if Poe can punch a stormtrooper. One black dice. And he's missed again. <laughs> Must be his little lizard arms. You can't punch him out. <laughs> Okay, so we're going off the stack, and it is the officer. So what do you want to do with the officer? Um, okay, we'll give you a moment. Okay, so the rebel officer is going to use spotter and can give out two aims. So you might as well give one there, and then you can even give one to yourself or the other stormtrooper. Yeah, I'll give one out. Okay. And then... Coming down to points, so I'm just gonna okay. I want to get out of harm's way just in case there is anything, just gonna move in to the back of here, and that will be the end of the officer's activation. Okay, with the officer tucked up behind the watchtower, we're going to nick to go off the stack, troopers. and it is troopers come down here. Is that who you're going with, or do you want a mini? Uh, no, then. Okay, I'm going to go with this front trooper unit here. And they're going to head out of there, double move. To get out of the way of that ATST. That seems like a good play there. Back to you then, Ad. Storms. Okay, so we've got this guy here. So I'm going to take a dodge. And stay nice and... Toys. Okay, and that's the end of their activation. Over to you. And it is up, Luke. Okay, we'll give you a minute. As the Nick knows what he's doing with Luke. Move up. Yeah. He's going to force push. This guy. Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay, and then you're going to charge in. Yep. And charge in, so then you get to put your stormtroopers round Luke now. Okay. Then we'll go to the dice box and get rolled. Seven black with Luke with PS2 on the four stormtroopers. Oh, it's not great. It's only three. The unit's not going to door. So that one would be, the surge would become a crit. So three black. Sorry, three red. Sorry, more bad. I'm getting carried away with all this excitement. What? So you'll say, oh, it's pierced. It's going to get oh. pierced. So three will die and the unit, the, only the unit leader will survive. And then I'll use force reflexes. 
Okay, so you can Super activate dodge. free sports reflexes to take a dodge, to stick that dodge on. And I'll use Jedi Mind Trick. And Jedi and, give him two and put suppression. two suppression on with Jedi Mind Trick on too. Nice turn there by Luke. Good use of force power as well played, Nick. Over to you then, Ad. You've got one more off the stack, and we know that's the ATST. Yes, we'll give you a moment, and then we'll come back. So the ATST is going to take aim, yeah? Yeah. And shoot at these three troopers here next to the pipe. So it's going to be triple rainbow, and we'll go to the box. Okay, Ad. Triple rainbow with an aim. Okay, so pick up the blanks and any surges. Okay, so we've got five through so far. Do you want to spend your aim? Yeah. You can't roll all three, so re-roll re -roll the two black. Nice. nice. So that's probably going to delete that unit. Okay, Nick, so three. So you need, what, uh, seven white. Let's roll it. They're going to be gone. Unless you can roll a miracle roll. Yeah, no chance. So you would block three, and then, you know... The rest are coming through, so that deletes that trooper unit from there, and that's the end of the ATST's turn. Nick, what you got left? Um, you've got a sniper down here, definitely. Sniper. And you've got a stack as well, here. And the captain. Okay, go off the stack. And it is your officer. I'm not doing nothing. Yeah, there's nothing. Yep, dodge, I guess. Yeah, that's that. Over to you then, Ad, and it's that last trooper unit down here, so you need two white. Oh. To roll off that suppression. No, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, rolls off both. What am I on about? So now he's got two actions. So, so disengage. And that's the end. That will be both actions. That's the action. Oh, the dis dis to disengage is two actions, yeah. Um, so you're just going to have to attack Luke. Yeah, okay? was, yeah. Take an aim and attack Luke. I've already got an aim. You can take another. Yeah, so attack two aims. Two and aims and then have a punch at Luke. Yeah. It's not going to matter. No, but, but it's something. You want to roll it out. So, okay, this. roll this Stormtrooper. No, spend one aim. And he's got a crit. See if we can put one more wound on Luke and then we'll see what I think that's going to be game and we'll total things up. Oh, no. he and he saved it anyway. Okay, let's take a look at the board. So we've only got this sniper left to activate now, and there's nothing that he can see really. Maybe the ATST, but relevant on the game. So control of boxes, we have trooper unit down here and Luke Skywalker up here. So two for the rebels. Then we have a trooper unit here for the Imperials and one trooper unit there. So it's gonna go to points. Okay, let's we'll tally up the points and then we'll come back and have a chat about the game. What a super close game, victory for Nick and the Rebels. I think you won by 38 points, yeah? Close game, so what, one activation um, off the board. How do you think that went, Nick, with the list, and was you happy with how it went? Yeah, I like the list. Obviously, when I saw the ATS, I knew that was trouble. Yeah. Obviously, I was lucky I was a blue player, so I got the deck. I yeah. Went in my favour. Um, which didn't, which let me just sit back kind of thing and let the ITST and I'd have to come at me. Yeah. So, yeah, it was all right. And the, um, you had your ATRTs equipped with the laser cannons to take out vehicles, but I think even with the laser cannons on the ATRTs, I don't think they're a match for yeah, no, they the ATST. Do. I think once they get into range four, the ATST's got range on them and they just the shot back normally wipes them out, which it, which it pretty much did. Um, but I do think, you know, having some answer to vehicles in your list right now is a, is a good idea. So, yeah, I, was, you know, I think that was a good choice. So, what do you think, Spud? Close game, you know, you're still learning. I think maybe it slipped away from you at the end. Yeah, I think it's my first 800 point game. It is, so yeah. I think, I think that, the longevity of it um, got to me a bit. But um, the list that I took, I thought was strong um, at the start with the, the game that we produced. I wanted to, I wanted to some that I'd not played because I played a lot of capture the middles. Yeah. Um, so I wanted something that I'd not played to give me a little bit more challenge, learn the game a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Um, so recover the supplies definitely does that. There's a lot of moving pieces and capturing and dynamics 
um, going on. I liked your list when I saw it. I thought it's got loads of like fun pieces in there. You've got Op Vader that's going to go on the battlefield. You've got Boss who's going to give you the bounty and he had bounty on that officer. And then you've got the big ATST just rounded out. You know, it's low realm activations, but you've got some very impact pieces in there, which I think was pretty cool. And um, Vader didn't do much work for you last <laughs> Vader very early. To Luke, and that was a nice play with the Son of Skywalker, but then with some atrocious rolls on the red yeah, one. Terrible, terrible. But you know, I guess that happens sometimes in the dice variant game. But I think you recovered well because once you lost Vader, I thought that might be big trouble now. But that ATST is just solid in the middle, and it just held down the middle of the battlefield, and Nick couldn't come out, and Troopers just was hiding and dodging, and I think that's how it went. And it made me as my one pick. Just to get away. It did, yeah, you yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. You stand there. Yeah, to you serve your master well to just get out of there. Otherwise, yeah, Luke would have yeah, it probably to the crack back on the ITST. So, yeah, I think. And the rest of the doors helped me. I mean, taking uh, some of the units out with the snipers. Yeah, your sniper was <laughs> doing <laughs> shooting well, weren't they? Throwing creeps in well. the ITRTs and stuff, so that was good. But for me, I filmed and I was narrating the game. I had loads of fun just watching the game, to be honest, rather than playing that one I did enjoy myself I think it was a good list you know um, I think you had the opportunity in the last turn yeah, and we've yeah. talked about it off camera down in the bottom corner with Pow you know do you want to go through what you probably uh, should have done and how you, you yeah know? so I mean it's a, it's a learning curve like, I didn't realise how close Luke really was I didn't know if he could get there yeah um, using the force powers yeah I the for, force push is a good yeah, yeah. Um, I sort of maybe naive more than anything I wanted to make sure that I could kill another unit and take that off the board also get my stormies back yeah to to take the uh the, the crate yeah at the end um so maybe just a bit naive um because if you'd have killed pow when you had that order on them four stormtroopers in melee if you'd have killed pow the difference in the pathfinders would have swung the game yeah. and the points and i think once nick had took bosk out down there and you couldn't capture that barrel that no one managed to capture the supply mm -hmm. Um, I think the key did then become around killing units in that last activation and I think the ATST was always a threat to take out one trooper unit or the snipers that was left there but then I think Pow needed to die to give you yeah, any absolutely. any chance of winning the game but you know anything you want to add to that anything you'd do different anything you would probably chop or change any upgrades on your troopers that you didn't think you used or no I think it was obviously the last time I thought I'd missed it with Luke yeah. It kicked in my head that I should have probably used one of his order cards and done it straight away. Yeah, you gave Adam the chance yeah. to get to actually kill Pow and then not by taking that chance, gave you the chance back yeah. for Lou. And I was recording thinking, oh, which one of us was going to see it first? I could see the line of play, but you know, in the end, you pulled Luke and he got in there and he done the damage. And, but very close game, real fun to watch. I hope you guys have enjoyed it at home. If you have, leave us a like and remember to subscribe if you want to see more. Again, I'll always say, if we've made any mistakes and stuff, I think we missed some of Bosk's pierce in the um, early rolls, but it is difficult filming and um, trying to remember everything. But if you see anything that we've missed, let us know down in the comments. It does help us remember it for future battle reports. So, yeah, go with that. I think that's everything. Yeah, happy with yeah. that. Yeah. Well, guys, take care. Have a great day. Thank you.